What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Low Pro Tahoe Camera Backpack in Black I picked up at Best Buy for $39.99, down from $49.99. Out of 5 stars, this backpack gets 4.7 out of 5 out of 500 customer reviews. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. I'm basically going to show you around the backpack. And today we're going to figure out if this is the best camera backpack under $50. It is a little bit on the smaller side. There are bigger option backpacks from this company at Best Buy, but they are just a little bit more expensive. This, I think, is the perfect size for me. It was also the perfect price point, and it actually looks like a pretty good quality bag. I was actually out doing some photography last week on a nature walk. Uh, usually when I go out and do photography, I just take one camera with me and I never take additional lenses or batteries or anything like that. And I usually pretty much just walk around downtown and do a little bit of street photography. And my sessions are only just an hour and a half to maybe three hours long at the most. I usually just go out and get some exercise and enjoy myself and have a little bit of fun. But what I realized was taking nature photography, I did need a couple of different lenses. I needed my zoom lens and I needed my wide angle lens to get some good landscape shots. What I found out was I was actually uh, carrying my zoom lens in my pocket and interchanging them, uh, which was just a little bit of an inconvenience, which kind of was a little bit uncomfortable. So for 40 bucks, you know, I'm not looking for a professional grade backpack. I'm just looking for something that can store my camera, a tripod, an additional lens. Yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and we'll see how nice of a bag this is. So here we have the Low Pro Tahoe Backpack in Black. I picked up at Best Buy for $39.99. This should pretty much come in at under $50. Of course, tax is probably going to take you over the $50 mark as soon as this goes back up to $49. But for now, you can definitely get this under $50. What's actually really nice is you get this elastic strap at the top here so uh, your tripod is not dangling off the side it will fit in this elastic pocket down here so if you have a tripod that's a little bit larger in diameter than normal it should definitely fit down here if we actually look at the right side of the bag you do get an additional tripod pocket so uh, you can actually take two tripods with you two cameras a couple of different lenses so this is really handy this is actually a really uh, small and easy and portable bag to carry around. It's pretty lightweight. I think it's 0.8 pounds. Uh, what I really like about this is there's plenty of space for not a whole lot of equipment, but uh, just the right amount of equipment. Uh, one thing I do want to point out here is if you'll actually look at the tag here, you can get a good idea of the types of items you can fit inside the bag. This actually is a Sony A7 Mark III. It could be an R3, or, but it's basically an A7 III. Uh, all those cameras are pretty much the same size. I have one. It's a very heavy duty, professional grade camera. It's kind of heavy, but it's bulky as well because it has a very uh, big sensor inside. It has the 35 millimeter sensor. Uh, it's just a very nice uh, high definition camera. So the fact that you can fit this in there and probably a zoom lens and probably even like a nice landscape or portrait lens in there is fantastic. But what you can see here is it will take an iPad. That's probably a 10 and a half inch iPad, but from what I have read on Best Buy's website, nothing bigger than a 10 and a half inch iPad, uh, a 12 inch computer, a 13 inch, a 15 inch, a 16 inch computer. Do not expect them to fit in this bag. Uh, if we actually rotate the bag around to the front here, you can pretty much see that you get some pretty nice design characteristics on the front of the bag here. You'll actually see these little parallel lines here, these deviations. That is actually uh, additional padding on the front of the bag, which is really nice. As you'll pretty much see here underneath this tag is a zipper. It's actually a front pocket that's fairly deep. As you can see, I can actually get my hand down there. So this would be great for a cell phone, for example, or a wallet and some keys, for example, an ID card. Uh, you actually get the Low Pro logo on the front. One thing I want to point out here is the quality control is fantastic. This logo stitching is perfect. But like I said, this front pocket is padded very nicely here. So if you do 
just drop it or maybe even scrape it up against a rock like if you're walking through a canyon or something of that nature. Uh, nothing overly fancy with these straps. There's really no uh, air holes or additional padding. They're pretty flat, I would say. There is padding there, so they should be comfortable. They shouldn't uh, make your shoulders sore in any way, shape, or form, but uh, you could pretty much just uh, liken these to straps on a Jansport backpack, for example. They're just pretty lightweight and minimalist, but one thing before we get into the bag itself, the front compartment is, you do have this additional pocket on the side for basically whatever you want, and then maybe a tripod on the other side. So just keep that in mind that you don't have to have two tripods. If we actually just flip the bag over to the top side here, you can see that the camera bag opens up pretty much the entire length uh, one thing you'll notice first and foremost is this pocket here on the inside, which does demarcate that it can accommodate up to a 10 and a half inch tablet. I would say that this pocket is a little bit small for a 11 inch iPad Pro, and it's definitely not big enough for a 13 inch iPad Pro. But if you do have the 10 and a half inch iPad, uh, which was previously the iPad Air, yeah, a tablet, being able to carry around something like that where you can transfer photos onto and edit them. Uh, just to give you a better look at the bag itself on the inside, it is nicely padded around the edges here. Another thing you'll probably notice around the edges are Velcro uh, patches stitched to the side wall here. This is basically so you can pretty much un-Velcro these little slats and pretty much make room for anything. So I think what I was looking at earlier was a setup sort of like this here, where you maybe might move this slat over here and then have a camera body here and a zoom lens here, like uh, maybe a 200 to 300 millimeter zoom lens, I think. Uh, and then you can pretty much just readjust them and reposition them as you'd like. As you can see here, this pocket would be great for an additional lens. Uh, another additional lens if you'd like. And what I would like to do is actually remove this tab here and then put a much smaller, maybe point and shoot camera here, or maybe an APS-C uh, crop camera here, like uh, one of my Panasonic cameras, for example. And what's actually really nice is if you just want to take a pocket out, you can. So uh, maybe we'll take both of these pockets here and we'll have just one large space here. If you maybe have like a six or 700 millimeter lens, and then maybe a portrait lens here, and just a couple of other things over here. Uh, one thing I wanna point out is I would actually keep one of these spacers inserted here because I think if you're just wanting to put your camera body here and a zoom lens here, uh, having this additional flap maybe just tucked off to the side, you're definitely going to get some extra protection between uh, your camera body and your lens here and whatever you have in this pocket. So yeah, I would definitely advise not taking these out. If we actually just put the bag upright once again, you can actually see that you get a nice grab handle at the top of the bag here. Uh, what I really do enjoy about this bag are all the nice premium features you get. This is a nice metal rubber zipper pull tab here. Uh, everything is really nicely laid out from the black to the orange colorway here to this actually really nice plastic carabiner clip on the front of the bag. What I've actually noticed is that it sits at the top of your back. Uh, that's actually going to reduce the amount of weight that you're carrying around. The top of your back up by your shoulders is definitely the strongest area of your back, not the lowest part of your back. Whenever you hear about back problems, it's always involving the lower back, never the upper portion of the back. So uh, if you're a professional photographer, you may want to carry around a few different types of cameras, but uh, I think for the most part, two cameras at the most and just a couple of lenses, a single tripod, maybe two tripods if you want. Or like I said, use the other slot for a water bottle or something like that. Uh, what's really nice is you can get a 10 and a half inch tablet in there. This is a really great utilitarian, simple backpack for under $50. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions and sort of overview of this Low Pro Tahoe camera backpack in black I picked up at Best Buy for $39.99, down from $49.99. Out of five stars, this backpack does get 4.7 out of five out of 500 customer reviews. 
I do believe this is the best camera backpack you can buy for under $50. You do have two pockets on either side for a tripod. I did say if you actually want like a tall, narrow 16 ounce water bottle, an insulated water bottle, you could definitely slide it down into this pocket here and secure it with this strap up top and then have your tripod on the left side of the bag, for example. Uh, what I really like about this bag is it is just a simple minimalist black backpack. Uh, what I like is it does sit at the top of your back towards your shoulders, so that really should reduce uh, stress carrying this around. It's not going to be as stressful on your lower back, especially if you're doing some hiking for the day. What's really nice is actually, this is sort of like a portion control, I would say. Uh, many of us photographers are obsessed with having our accessories and taking everything with us, right? Well, this actually might help you cut down on some of that unneeded junk, right? Just take what you need and get the shots you need, right? Just keep it simple, right? Maybe one or two cameras, a couple of lenses, an additional battery. Uh, and if you just wanna edit your photos on the car ride, home, definitely a 10 and a half inch tablet to get into Adobe Lightroom uh, mobile, for example, or Photoshop mobile. Uh, this front padded pocket also protects, say that 10 and, a, 10 and a half inch tablet on the inside, but it will also help protect against accidental bumps and scrapes you do have a wallet and maybe your personal cell phone in this front pocket. So not sure that this is water resistant. I'm gonna go ahead and say no, but uh, this is a great looking bag and uh, it's built well. The quality control here is fantastic. It's in my price range. It's in my need range. I, when I go out and shoot, I don't take, you know, a ton of equipment with me, just one camera and an extra lens. Uh, but I actually might start taking my nicer camera with me. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of this backpack. Because I picked it up at Best Buy, that does make it a big box good. My name is John. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. I thank you so much again for tuning in. Also, check out my merchandise store. I have some awesome items on there. T-shirts, office supplies, beach towels. It's a really cool store. It's growing. We're getting more visitors each and every day. Yeah, go ahead and order a t-shirt if you like this channel, if you like my content, you will definitely be supporting uh, me getting cooler, more interesting products in here to review on a weekly basis. And what's cool is these quotes are actually kind of inspirational and they sort of speak as you walk around and then they speak for themselves, I think, and get people maybe to think a little bit about being good and doing good, just like this shirt says. So. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.